Hi and welcome. I am Danilo Romolini and today we are about to see together a beautiful country home. We are in Tuscany, close by to Monterchi, 30 minutes from Arezzo and about an hour to Florence. Let's go and see it together. Come with me. The country house is enclosed in a lush and green forest, which grants the property total silence and privacy. The property itself is surrounded by 5.7 hectares of land, with also a spring of water and a private pond that enrich it. The garden of this home is about 3,000 square meters and it is set in a breathtaking panoramic position. All of this together grants this place a wonderful atmosphere. The rest of the land of the property is made up of woodland, arable land and chestnut grove. Just below the property lies this wonderful 14 by 7 meters swimming pool. It is currently covered because we are in the autumn season, but here's a picture of it during the summertime. All around the swimming pool we find this spacious sunbathing area, ideal to enjoy the summer days, and all of this is right in front of this gorgeous view. Beside the main home, we find this smaller unit, which is a guest house right behind me. It's very cute, two levels. It is about 50 square meters, and it has on the ground level a kitchen and dining area, whereas on the first one, we have a bedroom and bathroom. The home is structured on three levels with a total surface of 430 square meters, five bedrooms and four bathrooms. The ground floor of this kind of country home was in the past traditionally used for animals. In fact, you can notice these quite broad spaces that today have been repurposed into living areas. The ground floor immediately welcomes us with this entrance room where we find this staircase to go to the upper floors. Through that door, we get to a dining area with its independent external access. Whereas right behind, we get straight into the kitchen, which I absolutely love with all of these light cream colors. Comfortable working spaces. And through that door, we get straight onto the outdoor patio to enjoy some pleasureful summertime meals. Through the kitchen, we find this door behind me, which leads us to the dining room we've seen earlier and also to a laundry area. Whereas, as we keep going, we find a second dining area with its outdoor access. And over here, finally, we get to the living rooms. What I love the most about these living areas is not only the travertino marble on the floor, the wooden beams on the ceiling, and all of these doors that give both light and direct access to the garden, but especially the fact that this is one large living space, giving this a nice sense of space and depth, but at the same time is enclosed by these arches 
creating some cozy and warm smaller rooms. The living area finally finishes with this bedroom over here with its outdoor independent access and its ensuite bathroom. The first floor is where most of the bedrooms can be found. Just like every traditional country home, it has an independent staircase to give independence to the first floor. In the case of this home, it actually has two. This part of the first floor has this large living space with a bedroom and ensuite bathroom on the left. It also has its independent staircase access and by closing this door, this basically is totally independent. Over here, as I said, there is the bedroom with the terracotta floor, the wooden beams, this wonderful view on the hills right in front and have a look at the bathroom. The floor then keeps going through this hallway over here, which leads us to other two bedrooms, each one with its bathroom. In the end of the hallway we've just seen, we get to this other living space, which has the independent access on this side with the second staircase I mentioned earlier. It also has, just like the rest of the house, the terracotta floors and the wooden beams. Over there, there is a beautiful stone fireplace. And right behind me, you see this door, which brings us to the staircase to go to the last floor. Let me show you. The third and last floor is actually an apartment on its own, since it has this large living and kitchen space, which is actually the whole width of the house. And also, I love that you can see under the roof, you can notice on the ceiling, all of these wooden beams. Over here, we find two bedrooms. They are large and spacious, and each one has its own bathroom. Siamo ora giunti al termine del video di oggi. Questa è senza dubbio una proprietà bellissima, ideale per una grande famiglia, ma anche come un'ottima opportunità di investimento. Spero vi sia piaciuta e vi ricordo inoltre di iscrivervi al nostro canale per nuovi video tutti i mercoledì. Ci vediamo presto, ciao!